Nearly a century ago, Edwin Hubble made a groundbreaking discovery that the universe is expanding. find ourselves faced with a growing anomaly, a discrepancy in the Hubble constant. The James Webb Space Telescope, launched over two years ago, has provided us with precise observations that intensify this cosmic puzzle, leaving us to wonder if we truly comprehend the composition and physics of our vast universe. Leading the charge in unravelling this mystery is Adam Rees, a distinguished professor of astronomy at Johns Hopkins University. He and his team, armed with James Webb's cutting-edge technology, have uncovered a discrepancy that challenges the very core of our cosmological model. But let's rewind a bit. The story began with the Big Bang, an explosive event that birthed our universe. In its early stages, a delicate balance saved the cosmos from immediate self-destruction as matter and antimatter engaged in a cosmic dance. Gravity played its part, compressing plasma pockets and setting the stage for the formation of galaxies interconnected by a vast cosmic web. Enter dark matter and dark energy, the enigmatic components comprising 95% of our universe, according to the Lambda Cold Dark Matter model. However, these elusive entities remain shrouded in mystery, challenging our understanding of the fundamental building blocks of the cosmos. The real cosmic twist arises in the form of the Hubble tension, a perplexing discrepancy in the rate of the universe's expansion depending on observational methods. Whether gazing into the early universe or measuring the cosmic microwave background the numbers don't quite add up, leaving astrophysicists grappling with the possibility that our model is missing a crucial piece of the cosmic puzzle. In this video, we'll explore the two primary methods used to measure the universe's expansion. One, involving the cosmic microwave background, and the other, utilizing pulsating stars known as Cepheid variables. These methods, once thought to converge, now present us with conflicting results, adding an extra layer of complexity to our quest for cosmic understanding. So buckle up, space explorers. We're about to embark on a journey through the cosmos, where the rules of the universe may be shifting, and the cosmic constants we once took for granted are now up for debate. Get ready to delve into the cosmic enigma that is challenging the very fabric of our understanding of the universe. This is a story of cosmic proportions, and we're here to unravel it together. Something has arrived in our expanding cosmos. Nearly a century ago, the astronomer Edwin Hubble discovered the balloon-like inflation of the universe and the accelerating rush of all galaxies away from each other. Following that expansion backward in time led to our current best understanding of how everything began, the Big Bang. But over the past decade, an alarming hole has been growing in this picture. Depending on where astronomers look, the rate of the universe's expansion, a value called the Hubble constant, varies significantly. Now more than two years after its launch, the James Webb Space Telescope has cemented the discrepancy with stunningly precise new observations that threaten to upend the standard model of cosmology. 
according to Adam Rees, a professor of astronomy at Johns Hopkins University, who led the team that made the new James Webb measurements. It's a disagreement that has to make us wonder if we really do understand the composition of the universe and the physics of the universe. On this, many cosmologists can agree it started with a bang, when in an instant, the young cosmos was formed an expanding, roiling plasma broth of matter and antimatter particles that popped into existence, only to annihilate each other upon contact. Left to their own devices, the matter and antimatter inside this plasma mire should have consumed each other entirely. But scientists believe that some unknown imbalance enabled more matter than antimatter to be produced, saving the universe from immediate self-destruction. Gravity compressed the plasma pockets, squeezing and heating the matter so that sound waves traveling just over half the speed of light called baryon acoustic oscillations rippled across their surface. Meanwhile, the high energy density of the early universe's crowded contents stretched space-time, pulling a small fraction of this matter safely from the fray as the universe inflated like a balloon, the standard story goes, ordinary matter which interacts with light, congealed around clumps of invisible dark matter to create the first galaxies, connected together by a vast cosmic web. Initially, as the universe's contents spread out its energy density and therefore its expansion rate decreased, but then roughly five billion years ago, galaxies began to recede once more at an ever faster rate, the cause was another invisible and mysterious entity known as dark energy. Einstein named it Lambda in his theory of general relativity. As our cosmos grew, its overall matter density dropped, while the dark energy density remained the same, gradually making the latter the biggest contributor to its overall expansion. Added together, the energy densities of ordinary matter Dark matter, dark energy and energy from light, set the upper speed limit of the universe's expansion. They are also key ingredients in the lambda cold dark matter, or LCD model of cosmology, which maps the growth of the cosmos and predicts its end. With matter eventually spread so thin, it experiences a heat death called the Big Freeze. Many of the model's predictions have been proven to be highly accurate. But here's where the problems begin. Despite much searching, astronomers have no clue what dark matter or dark energy are. As Ofa Lahav, a professor of astronomy at University College London, who was involved in galaxy surveys of dark energy said, most people agree that the universe's present composition is 5% ordinary atomic matter, 25% cold dark matter, and 70% dark energy, the embarrassing fact is, we don't understand the last two of them. But an even greater threat to the LCDM model has materialized, depending on what method astrophysicists use the universe, appears to be growing at different rates, a disparity known as the Hubble tension and methods that peer into the early universe show it expanding significantly faster than LCDM predicts. Those methods have been vetted and verified by countless observations. Therefore, as we said, the only reason that I can understand at this point for them to disagree is that the model that we have between them is perhaps missing something. What are your thoughts on this? Tell us by commenting below. To learn more about space science, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon.